KCSE 2023 Chemistry Paper 2 Question number 7 Testing on carbon and some of its compounds Of course with special emphasis on the Solvay process as taught in Form 2 Stay tuned Part A Give the names of the processes represented by the following equations. So for Roman 1, we see laboratory preparation of carbon 2 oxide. Of course, we are obtaining the gas from methanoic acid using concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. This process is dehydration for the first mark. Moving to the second part, we see a carbonate here. Of course, a hydrated carbonate of sodium with 10 moles of water of crystallization. So when we expose this carbonate to air, it loses 9 moles of its water of crystallization and we remain with only 1 mole of water in the structure of the salt. This process we called efflorescence. For the next mark, and then now for question number 7, part B, moving onwards, we were now tested more on the Solvay process. So part B reads, sodium carbonate is manufactured through a series of reactions involving sodium chloride, ammonia gas, and carbon 4 oxide. Roman 1, we are told that ammonia is obtained by reacting hydrogen and nitrogen in the Haber process, which we deal with in Form 3. We are told to state how the other two materials are obtained, that is sodium chloride for part 1, Roman 1, and carbon 4 oxide for part 2, Roman 1. Now, for sodium chloride, Sodium chloride is usually obtained from seawater through what we call solar evaporation. So the expected response here would be solar evaporation or just simply evaporation of seawater. That would give us sodium chloride for one mark. The other option would be mining of rock salt. This also can give us sodium chloride. Now coming to carbon 4 oxide, we can obtain it through several ways. One of them being thermal decomposition or heating of limestone. Instead of limestone, we can also heat sodium hydrogen carbonate to give us carbon 4 oxide. The second available option of obtaining carbon 4 oxide is through burning of carbon or coke in air. And we also have heating heating of calcium carbonate. So any of these three would give us carbon 4 oxide for the next mark. We now turn to part B, Roman 2. Concentrated sodium chloride solution saturated with ammonia is passed into a carbonation tower in which carbon-4 oxide is bubbled through. 
Reactions in the tower involve formation of ammonium hydrogen carbonate which then reacts with sodium chloride to form sodium hydrogen carbonate. Just like we discussed this in our previous video and I would want to direct our candidates to a video titled Solvay Process Simplified in this same playlist. A lot or rather everything about Solvay for process was simplified. Now the examiner was now asking us to write the equations for the formation of ammonium hydrogen carbonate. And of course what is reacting to produce this has been shown in the statement. So we have ammonia gas reacting with carbon 4 oxide and reacting with water. This water is normally found in brine and then we end up forming ammonium hydrogen carbonate. The beauty of this equation is that it balances out itself. As a candidate you do not worry about balancing. Of course take note of the state symbols as well. Gas, gas, liquid and aqueous. That would give the next mark. How about formation of sodium hydrogen carbonate? We've been told here that the ammonium hydrogen carbonate formed here then react with sodium chloride to form sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the examiner really made this very easy. So what a candidate was expected to do is ammonium hydrogen carbonate that has been formed in the above reaction in aqueous state would then react with sodium chloride again in aqueous state and we form sodium hydrogen carbonate. This comes out as solid because its solubility in the mixture is not much but then we have ammonium chloride which is highly soluble in the mixture. So the state becomes aqueous. That earns us the next mark. To part three, we were asked again to describe how the, for part one, sodium hydrogen carbonate is separated from the two. And this is quite easy. This is done through filtration. Filtration from the mixture. Marking point, filtration for one mark. For Roman 2, or rather part 2 of Roman 3, we are again asked to describe how the sodium hydrogen carbonate that has been obtained up here is converted to sodium carbonate. This is very easy. We do this by thermal decomposition. So we call it decomposition by heat or any word to that effect. Moving to part 4 of B, question 7. The examiner is telling us that one of the uses of sodium carbonate is in the removal of water hardness. We were asked to explain how sodium carbonate removes water hardness. And here we know that addition of sodium carbonate, allow me to use symbols here to save on space, results in what we call precipitation. Results in precipitation of calcium ions which are responsible for water hardness and magnesium ions. And this, after precipitation, we form insoluble calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate which are actually solids and can be filtered out of the water. Marking point here being precipitation of calcium ions and magnesium ions for the next mark. Lastly, for question 7, the examiner asked our candidates 
to state one other industrial use of sodium carbonate. Of course, the uses mentioned here by the candidate should not include removal of water hardness because that has been shown by the examiner. So, the candidate had a lot of options here. We have manufacture of the following detergents. Manufacture of detergents. We have soap. We have glass. All these were possible uses of sodium carbonate. There is paper. There is what we call borax. There is manufacture of sodium silicate. Sodium, I'll write in symbols again. There is also manufacture of sodium phosphate. And we also use sodium uh, carbonate as a pH stabilizer in swimming pools. That does it for testing of the topic carbon and some of its compounds as taught in Form 2. And dear candidate, you have seen that the Solvay process was emphasized in the testing. We wish you all the best in revision and remember to keep it the Kenyan teacher for more insightful reviews.